And what's going on fellow Machina users, Fontaine here. And in this video, I'm gonna take a look at browsing libraries as well as setting up your favorites from the MK3 hardware controller. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see right here, Machine is a very ergonomic and feature-rich software program. You can scroll through your library by projects, groups, sounds, instruments, effects, as well as samples. So I'm gonna scroll back to the uh, project group here. And as you can see right here, you have your all product category here. We can take this knob and we can scroll through these projects like so, either left or right. Very straightforward, very easy. <clears throat> On the right hand side of the screen here, the attributes of these kits show up, or I should say the projects. Contraman, Electrobit, Illumination Attic, and so on and so on. We have the types here. So when I hold down this touch capacitive sensor here, it's giving me how these um, projects are actually broken down or tagged and filtered, I should say, as it's saying here, club, downbeat, or urban, okay? So that's how you can get in there and you can really narrow down what you're looking for by turning this knob left or right. As you can see right there, it's highlighting like so, okay? So let's say for an example, this Contraman kit, I liked it. We're speaking hypothetically here. Let's say if I wanted to set this as a favorite. You have this little star asterisk here, which means a favorite. So in the MK3, what you do is you press shift. You notice how the menu changes, categories, vendors. Still, uh, the sample icon here, you can scroll left and right on that. And set fave. So I'm gonna set Contraman as a fave. And what I'll also do is I'll set Texture Might as a fave. Let go of the shift. Okay. So now, what we can do is we can look or browse by what's in our favorite menus. So again, this is a completely different uh, method here by simply clicking the little star icon for the favorites. Now those two favorites that we tagged now appear. As you can see right here, it says favorites too. And you can go ahead and scroll by each one like this and press the load icon to load. Clicking the star icon again will bring us out of the favorites menu and allow us to see what's inside the project menu. If I scroll over to groups, we now access the groups. Let's go ahead and set some more favorites in the groups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press shift. I'm gonna set favor on a couple. All right, so I like those. And we'll press the favorite icon again. We now have nine favorites that are stored. And I can scroll through them like so. Very simple, very easy. Again, selecting the icon again. We'll take us out of that menu. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things that we can do with the MK3. Putting down the mouse and just working directly from the hardware controller. We're back on the projects. As you can see right here, when I move the forward direction encoder left or right, I can scroll through the first project as shown as bit right to the all types here. Again, selecting the touch capacitive sensor allows me to scroll through those kits as we just showed, um, or rather those projects as we showed previously. But what you also can do is you can turn this knob here and scroll as well. Urban, all types. I guess there's one attribute in that it says it says urban only. So that's why there's only one little attribute there. But again, if urban was something in there that I was looking for, I get the results here. And I can scroll through and press load to load a kit. Very simple, very straightforward. Clicking up or down will allow me to browse through the categories. Alright, so let's go ahead and do something different, let's go into groups. Again, let's go to Elastic Thump. We have one here called Kits. As you can see right there, it says Digital Kit by selecting the touch sensitive capacitor here. Kits, Digital Kit, Drum Synth Kit, Melodic Kit, Special Kit, as well as Urban Kit. Let's say if I want to select a digital kit. The results come up like so. All right, so now we're under Groups. Elastic Thump, Kits, 
digital kit, the result menu shows here. And I can scroll through these. And here go some of the favorites, as you can see right there. Again, if I want to scroll through the favorites, click this icon like this right here. And if I want to load one, I would just click load and the kit would appear. Very simple, very straightforward, as well as sounds. Instruments, right there showing up is Drum Lab. We have, we can select by vendors. And you can see right here inside my library, Native Instruments, which will only show a Native Instruments product library. We can do by Waves, which is only a Waves library. Or if I wanted to go to All, I can select All and just scroll through them like so. Very simple, very straightforward. Okay, and as you can see, Monarch is showing up here with its attributes under Instruments, All Vendors, Monarch. I can select the third touch sensitive capacitive knob right here, and I can jump through instruments really quickly through different libraries, such as BitRiot, Dakota Forms, Elastic Thump, and so on. Again, we have the types here, such as bass and brass. Again, you're pretty much getting the hang of this now just by touching the touch sensitive knobs here. Brass, drums, bass, reed instruments, sound effects, synths, and more. So let's say, for example, I was looking for some piano keys. Piano keys comes up. We have subtypes here. Other piano keys. Nah. Well, yeah, we can. Let's see how many we get. Nah, we'll, we'll do a different one. We'll go back to uh, just regular piano keys. Ah, still. Only those. Okay. Look for something monophonic. Let's take a look at some of the user libraries. Another thing that you can do, you can select user, and here are some of the internal libraries that you have on your hard drive. Now the drum kit images from our website, we're going to be currently updating these, so don't pay attention to these because we're going to be updating these soon. Some of them are showing up, but some of them aren't as of yet, so we're going to get on that and we're going to get that straightened out. All right, so you can see right here the attributes. So as you can imagine, it pretty much works the same. You can scroll through your banks. This is the fast way to do it here from the left hand side of the screen. Or another way that you can do it, leave it on all banks, you can do it on this side. Dirty drums, hi hats, kicks, snares, all that good stuff. Say if I was looking for a kick, the kick's now up here, showing 33 results. All right. So let's go back to the factory library. And let's look for some effects. And let's go back to all products, all categories. And we can just simply scroll through these, as I'm doing here, such as Replica, Solid Bus Comp, Supercharger. And again, if we want to load any of these plugins, it's very easy by simply clicking on the load icon. And that will load up. We will exit the browser. If I wanted it on a sound level, a group level, or a master level, we have those options here. So if I wanted it on a sound, which is here is saying, uh, well, that wouldn't make any sense. Let's put it on a group, put it on a group. Okay, I can go back to the browser. I can go back to say if I want solid bus comp. Here's some nice little presets in here. Let's use drum pusher, for example. Click load like so. Exit here. It now appears here under the group. Now, if you press shift, you notice how you get edit and insert now. As well as bypass, you can bypass a plugin like this here. It grays out in software, like this here, it highlights back. This little icon here where it says effects, we either turn gray or highlight is so. If you want to remove it, press remove. But if I want to bring it up in the software, I'll just simply click edit. It now appears in software, grab my mouse, move it in like so. The attributes are here, if I want to adjust the threshold, Makeup, the ratio, the attack, and all that good stuff. 
off from your fingertips without touching the mouse. The only time I had to touch the mouse was actually slide it over a little bit. Press and shift again and edit. We'll close the window on that. All right. So that pretty much concludes this section here. Again, you can, or you can browse your libraries to your projects, groups, sounds, instruments, as well as effects. All right, so let's hold it up right here and we will continue on in future videos. It's your boy Fontaine, www.vipsoundlab.com. I will see you guys on the next one.